Hello everyone. In last few episodes, we discussed about Hunty Point and its properties. In this episode, we will learn about Dumpty Points. We will first define it and go into few properties of it. There are three Dumpty Points in the triangle: A Dumpty Point, B Dumpty Point, C Dumpty Point. We will look into one of those Dumpty Points, and the properties will carry over for the other in a symmetric argument. Let's get started. Before learning the definition of dumpty points, let's understand what is a median. We know median is a line. Median is a line from a vertex of the triangle to the midpoint of its opposite side, as shown, where D. is the midpoint of bc this is called as a median now in order to obtain a median we reflect it about the angle bisector at a reflecting ad about the angle bisector at a we get the a median this can be equally stated as a line segment that makes equal angle with the angle bisector to that of median but in the opposite side this is called as a median this is our a median similarly we can define b median as the reflection of b median about the angle bisector at b same goes for c so the properties of c median are crucial to understand in our dumpty point uh, properties so first observe that the angle made by the median with the sides say alpha and beta will be exactly the opposite of the angle made by c median with the sides that is the c median ad prime makes beta with the side ab and alpha with the side ac the reason is that angle bisector let's understand this by first considering the angle bisector alone the angle bisector makes equal angle a by 2 and a by 2 with the sides and median and median subtend equal angles with the sides now these two angles are therefore equal because a by 2 is subtracted by equal angles and therefore you get equal value on the either side of c median and the median to the opposite sides therefore if median subtends beta it should be beta here and if this is alpha then the angle subtended by c median is also alpha all right but what are the properties of the angle alpha and beta so let's take a look suppose say this is alpha and beta the angle subtended by a median with the sides now notice that area of abd by area of acd is equal to half into base bd times the height of the triangle from a similarly the area of acd will be half cd times h they both share a common height because they have the same uh, base line and the vertex is also shared between them therefore the height will also be equal so we may cancel h from numerator and denominator and the half also goes of and bd by cd is what will remain but bd equals cd because that's the definition of midpoint bd equals cd so we get the ratio to be 1 but we may express we may express the area of abd in a different way half into product of 
two sides AB and AD times the sine of angle subtended between them that is sine alpha divided by half AC into AD times sine beta this is equal to 1 and this and this implies that AB by AC equals sine beta by sine alpha but if I consider the synodian the angles subtended are in the other way now this will be alpha and this will be beta therefore for a synodian we may conclude sine of angle BAD prime by sine of angle CAD prime equals AB by AC so in fact we will conclude that the D dumpty point lies on the AC median and notice that any line that satisfies this ratio of angle will represent the AC median because the division ratio is unique ok now let's come to the definition what is the A dumpty point well let's consider a triangle ABC construct the circle tangent to AC at A and passing through B so it will look something like this similarly construct the circle tangent to AB at A and passing through C so that shall look something like this and these two circles will intersect again at the a dumpty point and this is how the A dumpty point is defined so you could see that the definition is related to a humpty point but it is not exactly related the reason is that points of tangency are now focused on A rather than the humpty point definition in which the points of tangency were at D and C so this is what we call the A dumpty point similarly you can construct circles tangent to AB at B and BC at B to intersect at B dumpty point and similarly C dumpty point but wait the uniqueness of this circle is also important to be proved how is this constructed we know that the perpendicular to AC at A passes through the center of left circle say gamma B and the perpendicular bisector at AB passes through the center of gamma B as well now we just consider the intersection of these two lines to be the center of gamma B and also construct the line perpendicular to AB at A and the perpendicular bisector of AC to intersect at the center of gamma C say OC now we just construct the circle with center OB and OC and radius OBA and OCA to arrive at gamma B and gamma C therefore these circles are unique well here you can see the three circles well it is actually two circles per vertex and they all will uh, define DA, DB, DC you can see that totally six circles are constructed here to define these points DA, DB, DC and notice that these circles are also the exact same circles defined in Humpty point but we consider the intersection of circles tangent at A to form DA whereas Humpty point was constructed as the intersection of circles tangent to BC at B and BC at C so these two intersect at the A Humpty point so that's the difference you need to remember that though it is a subtle difference alright let's get into some properties of a dumpty point 
these properties will be carried forward even for B and C dumpty point by analogous argument. First, we know the tangent chord theorem. So construct the chords of the circle and apply the tangential condition. We know that AC is tangent to gamma B. So the left one is gamma B and the right one is gamma C. We know that AC is tangent to gamma B at A. Therefore, the angle made by AC with ADA, say theta, will also be the angle subtended by ADA at the circumference of gamma B. So, ABDA is also theta. Similarly, the line AB is tangent to gamma C at A. So, the angle made by AB with ADA equals the angle made by ADA on the circle. But this should be in the alternate segment, right? So, we consider the other segment that does not intersect the angle alpha. So, we get this configuration. Alright, notice here that alpha plus theta equals the angle A. And therefore, we get angle A, D, A, B to be 180 minus A. That is because this is alpha and theta, they add up to A, so this will be 180 minus A by angle sum property. Similarly, this angle will also be 180 minus A. ADAC. Now you can observe that the two triangles ABDA and CADA are similar because of theta alpha 180 minus A angles. So this also gives us a common point DA with which they are similar. Therefore, we can think of DA as the center of spiral similarity that takes the line CA to AB. That takes the line CA to AB. This means when you rotate the line CA about DA by some angle so that DAC coincides with, coincides with DAA and then if you dilate it Maybe you can shrink it or dilate. It depends on the ratios. It will exactly match onto the line AB. So this is the conclusion. That is a direct consequence of the similarity. All right, coming to the sine ratios. Notice in triangle ABDA, if you apply the sine rule, sin theta by sin of 180 minus A equals ADA by AB. This is called a sine rule of a triangle that is the sine ratios of two angles equal the ratio of their corresponding opposite sides. The side opposite to angle theta is ADA and the side opposite to 180 minus A is AB. And that's why we get this ratio. Now coming to triangle ACDA, we get sin alpha by sin 180 minus A equals ADA by AC. This is also sin rule in triangle ACDA. Now dividing these two we get sin theta by sin alpha equals AC by AB or in other words sin alpha by sin theta equals AB by AC but wait this is something we have learned already right the sin of angle made with AB divided by sin of angle made with AC equals AB by AC this is exactly the same ratio we obtained for median AB by AC. Therefore, the line AD prime, which is the asymmedian, is same as ADA. 
and therefore we conclude that ADA is the AC median or equivalently DA, the A dumpty point lies on the AC median of the triangle ABC. So similarly you can prove that DB and DC lie on BC median and CC median of the triangle. In the upcoming episode we will discuss more properties of dumpty points. So stay tuned everyone. Bye.